Wisconsin's lakes and waterways are teeming with many varieties of fish. In this short video, we'll visit with fish expert John Lyons from the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources and learn about some of the most interesting fish in the Wisconsin River, like the paddlefish. This is a paddlefish. I think the reason it has its name is pretty obvious. It has this paddle-like snout in the front, um, which is unique in any, any fish, other fish species we have here in Wisconsin or in North America for that matter. Um, its closest relative is actually a species that lives in the Yangtze River in China. And the paddle, a lot of speculation about what it is for, why it has it, but it turns out it's actually an extremely sensitive electroreceptor organ. So it can use this to pick up tiny electric currents in the water, the, the kind of currents that are created by little tiny creatures swimming through the water. It uses this, in fact, to help find food and to forage. This species often lives in very dark and turbid situations where visibility is very poor, and it's searching for tiny plankton, tiny drifting invertebrates in the water column. So the paddle is very helpful in that regard. They have a giant mouth and they uh, open it like a big bucket and filter the water through. And I don't know if you can see in there, there's tiny little strands that form a, a little sieve-like apparatus. Those are called gill rakers. They're on the gill arches, the same place that they use for ventilation and for breathing. And uh, those arches, those uh, gill rakers on the arches, again, form a, a sieve-like matrix that can filter out the tiny organisms they feed on. They, even though it's one of the biggest fish in the state, it eats some of the smallest prey in the state. It doesn't eat other fish, or it's not a predator in that sense. Um, so despite that mouth and its size, it's a, it's a very uh, gentle creature, I guess, in that sense. It's not a predator. This is a, another rare fish in Wisconsin. It's uh, also on the threatened list. Once upon a time, it was very common, but again, the construction dams, the erosion and siltation of a lot of our rivers, the water pollution, all those sorts of things contributed to the species uh, disappearing from a lot of its range. And it's, it's found in the Mississippi River system, but really the stronghold for the species in the state is in the lower Wisconsin, particularly right below the Prairie de Sac Dam where there's a big concentration of them. This is a small one. They get up to about 100 pounds and about six feet long. They're kind of a neat fish, nothing like them in the state with this smooth skin and this kind of shark-like tail and, and of course this uh, incredible paddle. 